So you've run inventory in your environment. You've collected countless of points of data concerning software, hardware, user information, and so on, and it's all gone into your SQL database. And it's time to write that report that'll really polish off the system. But where does it all go? Well, as you can see here in my SQL Server Management Studio, I have a list of the SQL tables under the Symantec CMDB listed here. Each of these tables pertains to a certain solution or piece of uh, data from your environment. Each table has a certain number of columns with pieces of information in it. This list may seem quite daunting, but there are a few tricks that you can use to find exactly the data class or table you're looking for to make that perfect report. And while there's many different ways to track down this information, I've chosen four uh, to demonstrate in this presentation. First, probably one of the easiest methods we can do is the resource manager. I'm going to right click on this managed machine here. The resource manager comes up at the top of my list. Already we'll be greeted with a list of information pertaining to this one machine. And if we click view and inventory at the top of this window, we can see the complete collection of all of our data points that we have on this system in terms of its inventory. Here we see a list of our data classes. The data classes are actually SQL tables that exist on the database. Here we see the data classes associated with the system. And you can think of data classes simply as SQL tables in most senses. So here I have the basic inventory expanded, and I'm looking at the AEX AC primary user table, which is populated through Active Directory. Here I have my domain, image-pc, and so on. And as I click through these data tables, I can see more information that's being displayed to me. Now the trick of finding that right data table is as simple when you're building a report as choosing the name you can see here. If we look at the SQL database next to our resource manager, we can see that this table will be located under inventory, as you can see by this here, underscore AEX AC TCP IP. The next example I have is looking at the data classes under the settings window. By choosing settings and all settings, navigating down through notification server, resource and data class settings, then data classes, we have a whole of uh, the complete folder structure of the data classes we're using in our environment. And similar to the resource management page, we can click through these to get to the table name that we're looking for and the attributes that are being displayed. The difference between this screen and the previous screen is that you will not see any populated data in this example. The third place that we can go to look for information is to steal it from an existing report. I have the count of computers by manufacturer and model report here, and instead of having to clone this and hit edit, we can simply click on this icon here and choose view as XML. If we come down, usually about three quarters of the way down, we can find the raw SQL report. And if we know we're looking for computer manufacturer, we can see how it's listed right now, c.manufacturer. And if we can find where the table is renamed to C, we know that the view being uh, used in this report is V hardware computer system. Coming back to the SQL database, we can expand the views folder. and find the one we're looking for. Another method of finding the data class you want is to simply guess. Here I have the SQL Management Studio up, and let's say I'm looking for user information. We'll do a select star from vUser. We can see that that table exists, and if I scroll through this table, I can look at the many different data points that I have available. If I'm looking for computer, it's safe to say that vComputer exists. Or if I'm looking at a piece of software, I can try B software. Which in this case does not exist. But with the autocomplete, we have the ability to at least look for V software component, which would be the table that collects the different data points concerning the installation components of software. 
And by scrolling through here and sometimes ignoring the GUIDs to get to the information we want, we can see that the name of our software components is found here and the description. There's not a single solution for finding the data class that you want, and it takes a little experimentation to find the solution that fits you best, but hopefully this presentation will help in uh, building the next perfect report.